This should be pretty good. I like our team comp. Minions have spawned. Been trolling super hard with Prowler's Ergot. Dude, I actually like Prowler's Ergot. I mean, sometimes I regret it, but sometimes it's fun. <laughs> it's one of those items where, like, sometimes you do end up regretting it. But if you get fed, Prowler's is really fun. If you get fed and, like, they're squishy, dude, like, you can legit three-shot people if you get your shotguns. Honestly, Evelyn might start blue, so we'll see if he phase checks here. Looks like he's probably going around. Or chilling in the bush. Corruption Pot Cho'Gath, alright. My autos are going to do some big damage, especially, especially since we went uh, D-Bled. Just got to focus on dodging the cubes out. He's going to have sustain for days though, with Corruption plus passive. I have to go for like all ends. Oh yeah, look at that damage. I'm so used to playing I'm so used to playing against tanks I go D shield. It's such a difference if they go corruption pop, man. Ooh, I don't like that wave. If the cannon didn't push in, this would be really good. I can't go for a back now. I'm also a little bit worried about an Evelyn gank. Yeah, she just hit the scrying can. Yeah, if he went D-Shield, like, that gank would not work. That's what I don't like about Corruption Pot. Like, the item's not bad. The item's not bad if you take short trades, but if you ever get all in, like, you can just straight up die sometimes. Alright, we're going pickaxe. I got big kill pressure. He didn't get tabbies on that back. Is that a solo kill? That was still flash too, dang. Dude, I've been seeing the Graves mids completely pop off, by the way. That pick seems strong. I remember playing against a few Graves top a Zergot as well. The matchup was not fun. I don't really understand how it does so well mid though, when he gets like armor from the E. It seems like it'd be so much better top lane into like AD matchups. Like I see him even be AP champs, which is kind of weird. Alright, we're gonna freeze this. It says W. Yeah, that's true, actually. Smoke Serene is such a crazy ability. I think it's definitely, like, top five best non-ultimate abilities, for sure. It's like Vigar Cage, Yasuo Windwall, Grave Smoke Serene. Oh, 
cannon went into turret. Kind of holding the freeze. I'm taking a lot of damage. I can kill this guy at six, though. I can one combo him. Oh, Evelyn's here. She's level 5. Thankfully. Alright, he's gonna have flash advantage. That makes the lane a little tough for me, but... Should be fine if I chill. Mm, I don't know about this. I feel like he's gonna kill me. If I get hit by Q, I think I'm dead. Alright, not bad, dude. Singe W pretty insane. Yeah, Singe W is good. Honestly, I feel like Urgot E is pretty good. I guess the only thing about Urgot E is like it does have counterplay. It has the wind up time, like pretty easy to dodge. But, like, this is a really value spell if you think about it, dude. Double kill. Like, you're getting a shield, you're dealing damage, and you're stunning them. And fleeing them behind you. Like, that's that's high value. And you can use it to, like, buffer CCs, too. It's really nice. Oh, wow. I thought he would be in there. I'm gonna push. It's not really that good of a freeze. Imagine if Urgot E reset on kills. Oh my god, that'd be crazy. Dude, come team fights, that would be insane. Dude, what if your ulti reset on kills? Just throw out grinders on everyone. I don't think you'd have enough mana. That's actually true. <laughs> That'd be so much mana. We'd have to start building like tier. Eh, I don't know if this is really gankable. I lose a wave if I go for that. I'll just get grab. Flash is down. If that gets counter ganked, Graves is 3 0. It's pretty high risk. Yeah, ulti resetting on kills would be... I feel like that would be awkward in teamfights, dude. Just chain the fears. I don't even know if it'd be, like, that good. I mean, it'd be good, obviously, but... I feel like there'd be a lot of situations where it'd be kind of hard to pull off multiple ultis. Wow, nice. Okay, I thought Chagath was going over. I guess he's just chilling in the bush. Dude, Garen ulti resetting would be so OP. <laughs> Please, no. Oh, he's just dropping Shelly. Okay, let's push. Got him. Mm. Not the best, not the worst. At least we got the graves.
I'm not sure if I got plating gold. I don't think I did. I'm not sure. Yeah, good to see you, Tenji. Think you did? Yeah, maybe I did actually. I did have a lot of gold on that back. I don't know, so I was getting some free farm. Hopefully that's pretty good for him. He's actually out farming now, which is good. Doing double stream again today? I'm not sure, Tenji. I'll kind of play it by ear usually. Oh, you need three points in Q to do that? Okay. When you have three points in Q, you can Q Gore Drinker, the Mage Line, and just kill them. Dude, honestly, I'm going for this. Still got my E off. Yo, my shotgun didn't hit Ezreal for the assist? Really? I thought it would have. Double solo plates, that's actually nice. It's gonna get a bit of top here, but I'll trade back thought. Oh, wow, he actually turned back in. Okay. In a tank chugath lane like this, I'm fine with just using my flash and like TP on other stuff. Just trying to get leads through other ways. Let's get a control word too, actually. Alright, looking good, dude. I love when I get the timeout with this build. Let's go, go. Whoa, dude, how did that kill? Wait, how did his proto build just kill there? Holy class. The Graves went from 4 0 to 4 and 4 now. We're shutting them down. Yo, Sobek, thank you for the prime, dude. Ow. Appreciate that, man. I got my Gorge Anchor active still. I kind of bait a little bit. Kind of. Evelyn still scares me. Let's go to top here. Play for Harold. Still can't bring yourself to enjoy Gore Drinker very often. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that. I don't know, dude. I really like it. But I do think Titanic, Cleaver, Frostfire, like, I think that build is still really good. But I don't know. Gore Drinker feels good to me, man. Like, even just stat-wise, it feels pretty good. Such 
I usually hear people say that active doesn't feel good. But, like, even stat-wise, it feels good. The active is just kind of a bonus to me. And sometimes the active can be really clutch. Like, sometimes I agree. If they have anti-heal, it doesn't feel the best. But like I said, that kind of just feels like a bonus to me. Wow, this guy's actually just pushing. Okay. Should be able to kill. So tanky. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, he's tanky, but he doesn't really do anything other than tank right now, so... <laughs> Whatever. Mythic passive is nutty. It's pretty good, yeah. There's a lot of fights when I, whenever I have Gore Drinker where I can get, like, two E's off. And if I get two E's, then I can get two Gore Drinker actives. So if you think about it mathematically, like, that's giving me way more HP than Frostfire would, you know? Not every team fight you get two E's off, but sometimes you do. I don't know where I want to place this control ward, honestly. Just save it for now. I feel like I'm going to end up not placing it and end up selling it. He has no uh, flash if he face checks. It's gonna take a while to kill. I'm just saying, I don't know if I'd be doing that Cho'Gath build into a Fed Echo. It seems like he's building for the Urgot matchup, like just to survive against me. But this Echo is gonna wreck him, dude. Definitely gonna go Cleaver third this game, though. Should be nice against him. Looks like that's free. Also, I think another thing about Gore Drinker, there's two other, like, kind of underrated things about it. I think the HP regen, if you're building it first, is actually pretty nice. And I think that spite passive is honestly ridiculous. Because the thing about Ergot, like, he plays at low HP a lot of the time. Like, a lot of the time you're low HP and you're just, like, baiting people with E. So you get big value out of that spite. Because you just don't have that much healing. Uh, the spite passive, you get 1% attack damage for each 5% missing health. So the lower you are, the more AD, the more, uh, AD it gives you. Which I think is around like 20 to 30 AD usually if you're pretty low. That's why you can bait so hard with this item on top of your E too. Oh dude, everyone's snipeable. I'm not in range, they're healing. Ooh, got it. I had the E into range. So satisfying eating a Chogath, dude. Let's go drop this control ward, dude. I don't know. I'm just gonna drop it in this try, I guess. 
I probably should have placed it here since we're gonna play for Baron. I think it has a max. Yeah, it does have a max. I think it's a. Yeah, 15%. It's still really good, though, man. And then you're also getting damage from the uh, Thirsting Slash. Like, even if you don't get the heal, it can do pretty nice damage. And it flows well with your combo, too. Like, your W just keeps firing while you do your active, right? I don't know. I think it's good. I think Frostfire is good, too, though. Like, if you enjoy that build, I definitely don't think it's bad. I did that for so many games, and it honestly felt good. I just think these days, a lot of the time, I'd rather have the damage over the extra tankiness. And the thing is, you're still tanky. It's not like you're squishy. Like, you're still beefy, you know? Okay, I don't see anyone on the map here. There's Chogath. Oh, okay. GG. Nice, dude. That game didn't feel like super over for them, honestly. I'm kind of surprised they surrendered. Definitely give that one to Echo. Yeah, 12 to 19. I mean, we were getting objectives, but... I don't know. 11 of those kills are on Echo. If they shut down Echo, the game's in not that bad of a spot. But who knows, they're probably just tilted in the uh, team chat, for all we know. Solid game, though. Oh my god. We are being invaded, boys. Alright, we're good. I noticed a little bit late there, too. I guess we don't have to back, actually. Your team is full scale? Yeah. We literally just scale to win this game. I got a Kench lane, so we're scaling. My team is scaling. It's a full scale game, dude. Hopefully Jarvan doesn't take over the early game. That's really the only thing I could see going super wrong. But uh, other than that, their lanes are kind of scaling too. They don't have like a ton of kill pressure, I feel. All right, Tom Stench. Let's see if the nerfs feel any different this time. Played against them a few games ago, they didn't feel any different, but maybe it'll feel different this game. It's kind of hard when I have to leash to get Pryo. Jarvan gang. Dude, well played. Alright, let me turn that off real quick. I'm trying to hide behind a, my minions as much as possible. It's really all I can do in this land. For the cannon. Jarvan's level 2. That should be good. I'm kind of afraid to chase this guy, though. Not gonna lie. Like, if he turns on me... Oh, that got super low.
I want it to go on the Jarvan. We gotta focus the Jarvan there. I don't know if I should do call, dude. I want to. Feels kind of greedy. I'm just gonna full meet these guys. Uh, maybe I just shouldn't run over at all there. I don't know. I don't want to get mentally tilted this one because we scale so well. I still think we could have focused the Jarvan even after my E. And at least made that a 1 for 2. Line, man. <laughs> I don't even understand what that means, but it just annoys me how he says it. My autos just literally tickle him. I can just keep the wave here though, this is good, honestly. All things considered. Dude, how crazy is this? You can just eat turret shots and it like doesn't even matter. Champ is so good early. It's crazy. The trade-off is that we outscale, so that is the trade-off. It's friggin' tough early again, man. Okay, Dreven's bot. Jeez, man. Alright, sorry for breathing, Kench. Crazy, man. That's why I was trying so hard to keep the wave outside Terry like that. Because I'm just. That's the only way I'm safe in this lane. The thing that's really tough about Kench is like he actually has so much kill pressure. Because of his W and ulti. Like everything just has range. Like he has kill pressure. Even if you play safe. It's not like going against Mordekaiser where like. You only die if you really step out of position. Like, Mordekaiser, you can, even though it's a hard matchup, you can survive. Against Kench, it's so much harder. Let's get boots. Team's doing good. We're scaling. Titan CS. Honestly, even with him having three kills, I will outscale eventually. Maybe not at level 9 this game, but eventually. Shut down.
I feel like healing cut doesn't work on passive healing from his E. Yeah, because he heals out of combat. So, like, you probably won't have anti-heal on him in that case. Dude, he has Frostfire at 9 minutes. Holy moly. I don't know if you want to do this, my friend. Okay, I think I saved him at least. He's about to be thrown into the turret of death. Thrown into the sharks. Dude, I don't even think I can kill him right now, honestly. Maybe if I get 9. Pretty sure he just straight up wins here. Did you guys see his Q animation right there? It went like through the minion wave, even though it hit a minion. <laughs> that was weird. Maybe it always works like that. It looked different though. Oh yeah, maybe it does work like that. Just noticed it there, I guess. Driven's on ground. I can't believe he has a nine minute frost fire, dude. Are they gonna try to lane gank me? He just randomly gave cannon. What the heck? That was weird. Alright, there's our conditioning. Alright, let's push. Probably not gonna go well, but at least we got drag. You're gonna kill. Honestly, not bad. An enemy is Tom getting kills is kind of whatever at this point. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's not insane. That's huge. They're feeding the cast. Honestly, that's really good. And we got drag. Mm. Dude, I have too much inventory slots.
nice, that's big. Honestly, just ulting for the slow there so he can't get away. Since he used W already. Honestly, it kind of feels bad when you're playing a tank and you get like a, a massive shutdown built up. It's almost kind of bad in a way because like those kills aren't insane. They're not insane when a tank gets fed, you know? And then you're feeding this like huge shutdown to a champ like Kha'Zix. Cash in our call actually real quick, maybe. Kind of risky. Your turret has been destroyed. An enemy has been slain. Your team has destroyed a turret. Oh, yeah, conquer gas. We got the triple conquers. Yeah, if anyone's wondering, I usually do go conquer into Kench, because you can't really play the early game. And the fights are like crazy extended if you do get a 1v1. So you just get a lot of heals off it. If he does take the one v ones, I haven't really been able to one v one this game too much, obviously, because he just had the the big lead. They got four melees. Go Gore. Actually, three melees. Yeah, three melees. Good enough. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's a one shot for sure. Yeah, Cleaver third probably. I don't know, I'm honestly not really playing for the Kench. We got the Vantage, we got a Fed cast and a Fed Vane. Like, he's gonna get shredded. I don't know. I could maybe take him. He has no anti-heal. Once I get that Conqueror stacked, it's actually going to be nice heals. I don't want to fight near Tirith, though. He's going to throw me in. Alright, nice. I kind of thought that was going to go bad for a sec, honestly. What the heck? Shotgun. The other team is panicking, dude. I want to be—I want to be surprised if they surrendered into this team comp. Like honestly, dude. Even if we mess up the early game, this comp is too good. As long as it's not like a complete stomp, you know. These guys are still fighting with each other. I have two of them muted, by the way, so. 
I mean, I guess at this point we can unmute because I don't really care. Grab the popcorn, enjoy the show. Oh god, they can't just come in. My god. <laughs> That's terrifying. Did he not see the Kench about to W me? Dead for sure. I'm worth a pretty big shutdown right now, too. Just saying. I think it's worth, honestly. I wonder who he put the chains on, Ben. Kha'Zix? Kassadin? Oh, Kassadin. Dang, he's not putting the chains on the Ben. Wow. Yeah, cast just one shots. Honestly, what can Kench do against our team comp? Oh, Vayne does true damage. That's true. I honestly think Chains is just kind of like, maybe not the best buy here. I guess he can't really buy anything good into this comp though. Like, you, you can't play a tank into this team comp, you just can't. Honestly, pretty happy with how we recovered that one. Not the best early game, but good recovery. That team was like super toxic though. I think Vayne was chill, surprisingly. Twenty K damage cast in, dude. Holy moly. I had 15k. It's not bad. For not doing like any damage early lane. Freed by chains. 